So guys, hello and welcome to another flight report. And there she is, Vistara's Airbus A220. Uh, in my opinion, probably India's best airline. And last year I flew them in business class and today I'll be putting their premium economy class to a test. It's the only airline in India that offers that product. And I'll be taking that flight from Delhi to Mumbai. Um, flight time around two hours, so it's enough time to give it a comprehensive review. And let's see how the Star has changed over the year because with the collapse of Jet Airways, they took in a lot of their 737s as well as their crew. And Jet Airways, very last year of existence, I wasn't too impressed by it. So let's see how much this has affected the airline and whether it has an influence on their service and their product. So let's go to Mumbai and find out. And also this year, Vistara started flying internationally. It requires five years of domestic service to do so. And now they serve Bangkok, Singapore, as well as Dubai. And they have six 787-9 Dreamliners on order, which means next year they will start to offer ultra long haul flights. And this is a product I'm very much uh, looking forward to because Vistara has proven itself for excellent service and a great onboard product. So I can't wait to see how that Dreamliner is going to look like and especially the service since all ultra long haul flights departing from India are rather average when I think of Air India. So I think this is going to be quite a game changer as well and of course I will be on that flight as well wherever it goes to. So you happen to be booked on business class with Vistara, you can use their very own lounge here next to gate 39. Um, I went to the lounge last year, so check out my other Vistara review to see what it's like. Don't know whether it has changed much in this year, uh, but I found it to be a very decent lounge as well. So as you can see, I was full of praise for Vistara and I was very certain that my flight is going to be just as good as it was last year. However, Everything changed the moment I entered the airplane. So as a premium economy class passenger, you get to board with all the business class passengers. So priority boarding it is. So welcome on board the premium economy class here with uh, 24, 24 seats in total in the flight train configuration. The difference is the seat pitch is bigger. Uh, you get actually proper menus here as well on this flight. Um, however, um, the welcome was absolutely underwhelming. Um, like stale faces, no emotions. Like, Hotel, hotel kind of attitude. I mean, if you don't like your job, stay at home, eh? Yeah, a bit disappointing comparing, comparing it to my flight last year. Um, and uh, considering the fact that they had to announce that they're the only five-star airline in India. So uh, um, the soft product doesn't really match it. Uh, the cabin door is quite neat. I like the colors. I do like the little menus. I like the hot and cold, uh, hot and cold towel service before uh, before departure. So hot product, spot on. Crew total fail. All right, now we're gonna head for the runway, and flight time is roughly two hours to Mumbai. So enjoy the takeoff. So you probably noticed that there is no seat back entertainment. That is uh, how it works with the in-flight entertainment. You connect. Uh, to the Star World, like the Wi-Fi network, and then uh, you can stream movies or personal entertainment uh, to your personal device. And 
and uh, here are the instructions and this is how it works. I'm personally not a big fan of it because it drains my battery uh, and yeah, I like to have my phone I use it for other purposes. So this is today's lunch, chicken rice with lentils. This cart has been sitting there for like 15 minutes. Can't get out. Silverstar has now officially joined the club of airlines that don't want people to take videos on the flights. Uh, but I tell you all about it when we're on the ground, so it's less noisy. So until now, the service wasn't anywhere near to the best in India, as they claim, or neither could I feel anything of this new feeling that hasn't been there before, as they promise as well. So overall, it was a very underwhelming experience. There was no passion. There was no smile. There was like nothing wow on this flight. Um, yeah. So, and the cabin crew then, who is in charge of premium economy, class was standing in front of a cart and between business class and premium economy when the cabin manager arrived and whispered something into her ear. So they had that kind of conversation and they were eyeing me uh, the entire time while they talked to each other where she probably received some instructions regarding me or regarding my filming but I could tell that the conversation was clearly about me. Well she then reached my aisle and while I was talking to the camera she rolled her eyes and she said you're annoying. I was like Wow, that is quite a statement and quite a thing to say to a passenger, a customer and a guest. So I didn't know how to react. She cleared my tray. She came back five minutes later just to educate me once more that filming on an Vistara flight is against the company policy and I should not continue doing so just wow I was like okay I didn't know about all these kind of things because when I then shared my experience on Instagram there was a few crew or extra star crew um, telling me that such policy simply doesn't exist or it's not of their knowledge so I personally think that it was a very malicious thing to do I'm not sure about her motives, but it clearly sends out a statement to everybody who's going to vlog or film on this airline is not welcomed on Vistara. So the icing of the cake in the end was the cabin manager approaching me saying oh, I hope you had a good flight, you don't look very happy. <laughs> so now you guys probably ask yourself how come Josh you always get into troubles with airlines? Well first of all let me tell you that I do this for a living. This is my bread and butter and I have over a hundred flights 
each year. So I go into every detail. I give you a super comprehensive review so you can, so you get an, a real idea of what to possibly expect on your flight. And if I have three or four bad experience a year, it might look like I get into troubles a lot, but in case most of my flights are actually wonderful. And then of course I hear that argument quite a lot. How come Sam Chui always has such great experience? Well, let me know when Sam travels and I have traveled with him from the check-in agent to the baggage handler. Everybody needs to know that he's coming and he expects and he wants the red carpet. So he romanticizes an industry which doesn't exist. Uh, don't get me wrong. It's great content, it's great behind the scenes, but it has nothing to do with real life traveling and nothing ever works according plan. But sometimes it does, but there's always challenges we face. And this is why I give you an unbiased experience because when I go on board, most of the time the crew doesn't even know that I'm coming. So of course there can be issues, there can be problems, and this is what I'm here for. I hold airlines accountable for their promises and this is what in the end creates my experience which then I am going to share with you and let me tell you you can ask all the cabin crew and all the stuff that has been flying with you and they always describe me as a wonderful and very respectful passenger. So now I judged the airline on the performance. It was underwhelming. It was nothing I wanted it to be or I expected it to be and it was even insulting. However, then there is another way to judge an airline, how to come back, how to try to make up, or how to try to deal with this whole scenario. So let me tell you about this part, which I think is the most interesting and which gives you a very good picture of what Bistar is all about. So over the years, it's very normal in this industry that you build a relation with airlines. Some become your friends, some they don't like you very much, wonder which airline wouldn't like me <laughs> and I thought I was pretty good with the boys from Vistar. So now let me tell you how the CCO who decided to get in touch with me um, leaving a lukewarm comment on Instagram trying I don't know what he really was trying he was just saying we are camera friendly um, for everyone to see on Instagram. Um, However, now without trying to sound entitled, and I can understand that this is sometimes very hard on YouTube, um, but if I am friends with this guy who showcased my airline to over 1.2 million freaking flyers, who created thousands of sales for me, who endorsed me, and literally this is the most watched um, Vestar review on YouTube, don't I then at least have the courtesy to pick up the phone um, and at least ask for your side of the story or try to apologize or at least um, send an email, Sanjeev? Instead, the CCO who um, was very keen and quick last year to celebrate um, my positive review on his Twitter account, I decided then to act like a 14 year old and unfollowed me on Twitter. So this was his reaction uh, to my feedback on Instagram. He just unfollowed me on Twitter. Wow, what a reaction for a CCO um, that shows real class and to be honest I wasn't really expecting that so I thought we guys are friends and friends do treat each other differently of course I have a mission I I am unbiased I try to showcase what it's like but there's always a way for an airline to come back whether it's with me whether it's with a customer whether it's with anybody else we all screw up I screw up daily and but I try to make up for it and I'm aware that I wasn't right or whatever. So Sanjeev, honestly, that was quite a fail of a reaction. However, my inbox is still open. My phone is still able to be called. So um, this door hasn't been shut yet. So my job is to hold the powerful airlines accountable for the promises and their claims they make to get your very hard earned money. So if you say you are the best airline in India and that you offer the new feeling of flying in India, which is a quite big call to make, then I will judge you by exactly these words. 
That's like of me as saying I'm the best YouTuber in the world and now I don't deliver. I certainly know that I'm not, that's why I don't claim it. But sorry to say Vistar, but you completely fail on these promises, at least to me. And then of course you can judge an airline by their performance, but then you can also judge them on the way they come back. But that was also a complete disaster, thanks to Sanju. So this is why I personally wouldn't fly over Star anymore until things really change. So there's this beautiful saying in India, Atiti Deva Baba. And among all those awards you have won, it's sometimes easy to forget those beautiful words, which was the foundation of Vistara when you started it and now since you feel accomplished and complacent it's sometimes good to get a bit of a reality check and that's just all I want for Vistara to continue what they have started some time ago. So Leslie if you hear this why don't we grab lunch at Little India sometime these days give me a call send me an email uh, be good to have a chat I reckon. Alright guys Thank you so much for watching. Uh, thanks for sticking around. So let me know in the comment section below what you think of all this. And uh, guys, as usual, wherever you're after, have a safe trip.